The 5,099 pounds race replica doesn't feature the swathe of updates lavished upon the new 4,599 pounds 392 Quiro at its glitzy launch last month on the racetrack roof of the old Fiat factory in Turin. That bike boasts a new chassis, engine mods aplenty, upgraded WP suspension, stronger brakes, a crisper gearbox, revised styling, an LED headlight, evolution switch gear a full-color multifunction TFT dash, and a big leap up in build quality. KTM have raised the bar so high with the new 390 Duke that you now can't help feeling you've been a bit shortchanged with the not-so-new, more expensive RC390. You won't be surprised to learn the 2017 RC390 isn't a whole lot different to ride than the outgoing bike other than the ride-by-wire fueling from a closed throttle is now a little harsher. That aside, it's still the go-to machine for aspiring young sports bike riders and racers to learn their trade. In previous MCN group tests it's proved to be the fastest A2 license-friendly machine you can lay your hands on down a twisty road, and, as we've seen with the KTM RC Cup that supports British superbikes, it's not too shabby on the track, too.